Hey everybody, it's Charlotte from Cans Reborns um, at our storefront today, Little Dreamers Reborn Nursery and Boutique. I'm working on some custom orders today. I just wanted to get on here and really chat with you guys, but I thought um, I'm doing a, a warm blushing over um, the entire baby of one of my customs, so I figured I would share that with you today. With, um, with this baby, I've got, I've got the veining completed, I've got the mottling completed, the skin tones completed, and um, after I finish with all those processes, I dilute some warm blush uh, paint, and I make it really diluted, and I just go over the entire baby with the warm blush after I finish uh, the veining, the mottling, the skin tone, all of that. Uh, before I start into detailing and doing the creases and everything, I'll just go uh, over the entire baby with a diluted warm blush just to give it like a little bit more of a, just a little bit better color to the skin, a more realistic uh, blushy pink look to the overall complexion of the baby. So where's everybody at this morning? I don't see anybody on. It's a little early. We've been coming in early to the store because uh, we're really uh, behind on a lot of stuff. You know, this time of year we sell babies really, really quickly and uh, we've just had to come in to put in a few extra hours to keep up. So I'm just taking my brush and I'm going completely over all of the baby with this diluted warm blush. Even the bottoms of the feet. I usually, ha I usually have a couple of my uh, usuals on here, Miss Becky, Miss Amy, but I guess it's still a little bit too early for everybody. I just promised that I would get on here and be more active on my page, on our uh, YouTube page, because I really, you know, we're really wanting to focus on that and get more people to subscribe and join us on here and maybe learn a few little techniques and just hang out and talk with us. If any of you guys out there know me, you know that I'm a big talker. <laughs> it was my family's, well, still my family's favorite pastime. It was just to sit at the kitchen table and drink some coffee and talk about that day or 20 years before. <laughs> we just love to do that. But I'm sure people will be able to watch this video later. So it's Nobody comes on today, it's okay. Okay, I'm just using my sponge. I'm just daubing off the extra. I always have a little cloth here to dry my sponge off with to make sure I get all the extra off because you don't want streaks on your baby that will cause streaks if you don't daub and make sure that you get all that off. And I just think it gives it the baby, I don't know, it's, you would think because it's, it's more like a brown tone that it would give it like a massive skin change when you add this uh, warm blush all over the body. But if it's, you know, really well and diluted, it's perfect to give that little extra realistic color to the baby's skin. I see one person on, but I don't see any comments. You guys say, hey, so I'll know who you are. Tell me how your weather is. We've had some pretty nice weather as far as like being warm, but today it was cold. My window was frosted up on my car, so it was a little more colder than usual. Well, well then it has been in the last few days. You always want to take a, a small brush and go through the toes and make sure that you don't have any in the toes and the crease of the leg. And I'll get a leg and see if you guys can see the
uh, with just one light uh, warm blush coat. You see the difference? It's just it just gives it a little bit of you know just a prettier pink can you know complexion. And I just think it brings out the mottling more. It brings out the veining. I mean, it's just an overall gives it a better look, I believe. And it's simple, just like I said. Veining after mottling after your uh, skin coat of your skin color. When all that is finished and you're ready to start doing your, you know, your creases and your fine little details, cover your... You know, Cover your entire um, baby in the blushing. It's warm blushing. And I always keep down paper because I am so messy. I usually use sheets of tissue paper so it absorbs uh, the paint really quick. You guys say it. Let me see if I. Okay. Hi, Angela. Sorry. I had my, I guess I had my messages off so I couldn't see who was on. I was wondering why nobody was commenting anything. And every time... Okay. Oh, my gosh. It's covered in... Oh, my gosh. Well, you're in more shape than we are because we don't have snow here. I mean, it's not that bad, so I guess we're lucky. <laughs> well, stay warm. Oh. Um, I don't want any more snow, any more severely cold weather. I am done with that. I stay in such a better mood if it's warm. <laughs> I have flowers coming up in my flower beds at home. We have Easter lilies coming up out in our yard around our little apple tree. So... That makes me happy. Puts me in a good mood. <laughs> well, I wish uh, and hope that your weather gets a lot better soon. If you guys are just hopping on, tell me, hey, so I'll know who you are. All I can see is little numbers up here. I really can't tell who's on. Except for, uh... And I'm surprised I could even see that because I'm I'm about blind <laughs> and I don't have my glasses on, but I did squinch up here and be able to read it. After you finish all your uh, all of your parts, you'll stick this in uh, your oven, of course, at 265 for nine minutes. To set your paint and you know if you really if you want a little bit darker uh, skin color or a little bit darker you know like uh, almost like a little light tan color like a sun, uh, sun kissed color you can go back and put you a another layer of your uh, warm blush over your entire baby again 
and that'll give you a little bit more a little bit darker complexion a little bit more tan you know pretty blush looking skin I'm working on actually one of uh, one of the girls on my groups custom baby Sandra she would probably be, she would love to be watching I'm sure to see me working on her baby really nice lady and she's so excited over her baby You always want to make sure if you have folded hands like this guys uh, where it's easy for your paint to pull in in these little cracks you want to make sure you always get that out you don't want uh, paint to be built up in there because once you bake it's stuck there <laughs> And I still have my trusty homemade baker dryer. <laughs> this is a multi all-in-one. If you guys haven't seen this in my video before, I've had this thing for years. For years. My husband made this for me years ago. For uh, At home, I have a uh, just a regular oven at home. I have a double oven. And I would always use um, one oven to bake my babies in and the other oven to cook for my family. And um, I had a hard time with babies because I do specialize in dark skin babies. And my babies would touch things uh, when I laid them, you know, in the uh, in a glass dish or a tray to to work, let them bake. I would always have spots on my babies, you know, in, on the skin because especially with the darker skin babies, if it touches against something before it bakes or uh as you're landed in there anything that touches that can scuff and take off paint so I had a terrible time with that so he made me this out of just a board we had at home and some uh, the, the little rods from uh, Lowe's and they're screwed through the bottom all the little rods are screwed through the bottom and I actually have baked with this in my oven for years and you know it doesn't burn it kind of smells funny every now and then but it doesn't burn uh, it's perfect to bake your babies like this inside your oven so nothing's touching your baby uh, you're not having to worry about you know it getting uh, up against anything and rubbing the paint off it stays perfectly just like it needs to be inside the oven and it bakes like this and you don't have to worry about any issues like that and guys I'll be right back have one more lamb to do and this baby will be ready to put into the oven just like I said for 265 for nine minutes that's what I usually do and if you guys are just hopping on her you're just seeing this I am doing a warm a diluted warm blush over the entire baby after the veining the skin tone the mottling everything before you get to the point to where you're detailing doing your creases uh, and all that this is just a diluted warm blush uh, paint that I'm just going over the entire baby with to give it a more of a realistic uh, pink kind of uh, just pigmented more skin than that you know just pale skin I wish I kind of had Karen's phone today because I really don't feel like you can see the details my phone's pretty crappy guys you really can't see any of the fine details at all you guys say hey 
Gabriella, how are you, Gabriella? That's what I call my daughter when I'm mad at her. <laughs> her name is Gabrielle. But uh, when I get mad at her, and I'm yelled once, you know, <laughs> I don't, I like yell, yell at her. But if she knows that I'm being serious about something and she better listen, it's Gabriella. Listen to me. And she's like, oh, mom's mad about something. She's saying Gabriella. <laughs> I love that name. Oh, from Poland. Awesome. How's the weather in Poland? Tell us how the weather is there. Because I always talk about the weather. <laughs> Because weather is really important to me, even though, you know, it's, uh, I don't live in an area that's warm all the time. I wish it was. But I'm a, so, as soon as it gets summer and it's like 90 degrees, I'll be complaining that it's too hot. <laughs> so I can never be happy on the weather. So. I don't think anybody can. We're either going to complain it's too cold or it's too hot. I don't know why my messages aren't staying. Okay. You're back on here. But How warm is it in Poland today? Gabriella, tell us. Oh, it's cold. Psst. I was hoping you were going to say, oh, it's so warm here. <laughs> well, at least it's not raining. Yesterday, guys, when I went home, I was going to my mom's, uh, my mom and dad's for a few minutes before, uh, as soon as I got the kids off the bus, because our, our driveway is long. So I had the kids and I was getting them off the bus and I was going to go to my mom and dad's. And we had the worst windstorm ever. I mean, the sky was black. The wind was just roaring through the trees because I live out in the country. And it scared me so bad. I took the kids and went in the house and, and uh, sat forever before I left. It was kind of scary. So this time of year here for us, we have tornadoes. I mean, we're not like in a massive uh, area to have, you know, a lot of tornadoes. But this is the scary time of year for us because, you know, we don't, our, our home doesn't have a basement. So if we had a tornado, we'd be in really big trouble. It'd be, it would be terrible. So even though it's getting warmer, it's the scariest time of year for us because of the severe weather. Do you guys have like, I mean, I don't mean to sound like like I don't know anything <laughs> but I am a blonde so I'll just blame that we'll blame that on, my, on the hair color um over in Poland do you all have a lot of like tornadoes I mean I don't know I've never been to Poland I don't know how your guys's weather are you know is over there do you all have bad weathers okay you don't have tornadoes see I was thinking I'd never heard about any tornadoes anything like that there I didn't think so but I wasn't for sure and I was so curious, I didn't care if I looked stupid asking. <laughs> but guys, this is uh, my last limb. I've got to stick this on my rack. Just like I said, it's going to be baked in the oven at 265 for nine minutes. I'll get that out and I'll let it cool. Uh, I'm probably going to be happy with the color that it is right now. So after that, I'm going to be doing some fine detailing in the creases and doing uh, the blushing and going from there. But I wanted to get on here this morning and just have a quick little chat with you because I want to be more active on the on the page. I don't know if I'll ever, you know, be able to teach you anything, but I can sit and chat with you for hours. <laughs> so, um, guys, I'm gonna I'll try to come back tomorrow. 
I hope maybe that give you a little tip on, you know, darkening up and, you know, like blushing up your skin tone a little bit. You know, if you've never done that before, maybe you should try it with one of your babies if you reborn babies. And, guys, hopefully I'll see you back here tomorrow with another technique to do. And uh, I hope your everybody's weather gets better. I hope it's warm and sunny soon. And I'll see you later. Nice talking to you guys.